Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and we are looking at Psalm 146. Listen to what the psalmist says. Praise the Lord. Yes, really praise him. Not just talk about it, but actually do it. I will praise him as long as I live, even to my dying breath. From the beginning of our lives to the end of our lives, we are called to praise the Lord. We are called to glorify him. We are called to worship him. Don't look to man for help. Their greatest leaders fail. We know that to be true. Leaders rise up and then fail. Leaders rise up and then fall. But he says, every man must die. His breathing stops, his end life ends, and in that moment, all he planted for himself is ended. Almost sounds kind of morbid and macabre, but the reality of the situation is we live our entire lives building all kinds of monuments and icons and success for ourselves, and then when we breathe our last breath, all that we have built melts away. Then he goes on to say this, but happy is the one who has the God of Jacob as his helper, whose hope is in the Lord. He says, you really want to have hope in the future? You really want to have a, 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 a home in heaven? Make the Lord your God. The God who made both heaven and earth and seas and everything in them. He is the God who keeps every promise. So here the psalm writer says, God makes everything. But the one quality, the one thing that you have to remember is that God keeps his promises. That's so beautiful. And gives justice to the poor, the oppressed, and food to the hungry. God is concerned about the lowest of lows and also the vulnerable. He frees the prisoners. He opens the eyes of the blind. He lifts the burdens of those who bend down beneath their load. God is the God of the fatherless. He is the uh, husband to the widow. He is concerned about every vulnerable people today. That's what the psalmist is trying to say this. Also as well, the Lord loves good men. God loves those who follow him and do his will. That's the plan. We should have a plan to be pure and holy and consecrated. Then he goes on to say, he protects the immigrant and cares for the orphans and widows, but he turns topsy-turvy up, upside down the plans of the wicked. When the wicked want to do something against the vulnerable, which they often do, they're the exploiters, they're the oppressors, he says simply this, God turns their plans upside down. He says this, The Lord will reign forever, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem, you need to know that God has a plan and purpose for the lives. And then it goes on to say this, Your king, your God is your king for every generation. God is not just the God of this generation, but the next generation and the next generation after that. God will raise up people in the next generation. Then he says, hallelujah, praise the Lord. So let's give thanks to the Lord for what he's done. That is Psalm 146. My name is Robert Dean Steele.